Okay, yeah, another day on the uh, the B9. Um, I forgot to mention in the previous video that there was also uh, two SMDs <coughs> uh, at the front here of this brain piece, uh, and that's oh, you might be able to see it through there. There's two yellow things there. That's for his eyes, I believe it is the eyes of the beast. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty close to closing this up. I just wanted to to show that to you. And I decided that I'm going to put uh, the three SMDs <clears throat> on this top piece for those little little bulbs. I figure what's an extra three SMDs? Like, I mean, it's too late to do it later on, so might as well do it now. If you don't use them, you don't use them. But um, I think either way they'll look fine. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I've got to do is uh, just put a bit of hot glue on the tips of these, just a bit of extra security to keep them in place. Um, and then I'm going to use this stuff. It's a liquid lead black. Um, this may be similar to um, I don't know if you've seen a lot of sci-fi guys use uh, um, it's tulip, but it's not. Uh, I think tulip is the brand. It's like a very thick craft acrylic black. It kind of kind of like silicon. The way it uh, it's just very rubbery and, and basically use it for use it for light blocking. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit behind this SMD here and a little bit behind that one, and then uh, on each of the three here, and that's going to stop the light <clears throat> from when these ones are on reflecting down into these areas, uh, and similarly the same with these when because these are going to be constantly on so I don't want these to be constantly constantly on at the same time so that's going to reflect some light back so I've got to fill that area with black there um, and yeah so once I've sort of done all that I'm going to glue this piece together sorry for the shoddy, sham, uh, shoddy camera work uh, I'm going to glue this piece together and then I'll start um, painting it so I just thought I'd do a quick little vid before I well, it'll be added to the rest of the vids, but, you know, just a quick vid just to show you before I close it up. Alright, that's it. Okay, so I've got the brain section all, uh, all closed up and painted the metallic grey. Uh, I still need to do some bit of light blocking here. That's what this black stuff is, is that lead, liquid lead black that I've got. Uh, which works really good for for light blocking. So I've just ran that around these little bulbs to stop any of the light coming around the little hole that these things glue into. Um, I still need to uh, scratch away all the little hieroglyphics so they can shine through. Uh, I don't know if you can see but I've attached uh, an SMD to each of these little holes here which the finger lights will come out of which uh, are being painted at the moment um, and then I've ran all the wires down through there now <coughs> the the kit part uh, if we have a look here once this is all put together you've got this um, connecting connecting shaft they call it. Uh, now the way this is designed though it's two halves and it's not hollow inside. Well it is hollow but it's got pins in it. Uh, if you're be able to see it's got like you know pin and socket right through it so you really can't fit anything through that. So um, I've found this uh, bit of styrene tube in the parts box which incidentally is almost exactly the same size and it's got a, a lot bigger uh, internal diameter and the wires fit through perfectly um, but just because of the way this is uh, set up here I don't know if I can really see it properly but there's the center 
that sent a hole there, that's all the wiring from the brain. And then we've got the wiring that goes around for all these SMDs. So it's going to be kind of difficult to have that rod there and all these wires going through it. So basically the rod will hold the wires that go from the brain. And then the finger lights will be on the outside. And although I suppose like the lights could just, or the wires could just go from the finger lights around that. They don't necessarily have to go inside that shaft they can go on the outside and run through this thing and you just got to drill another hole inside this and, and all the way through there um, but I don't know I'm a little bit OCD like that <laughs> I can and it's not a not a difficult thing to do all I've done is just drill a few holes uh, on the outside of this and there's wires that come from the outside it would just you know as it gets to the bottom just slot in there and uh, that'll fit in there nicely no, no issue at all uh, the other thing I've done is because I'm, I've got a hollow rod now, not a solid one, uh, and the wire is going through it. The way they have it set up here, you've got a retaining pin. Well, obviously the wire is going through it, you're not going to be able to use that pin. Um, so I've just changed that around slightly, and I've used the original retaining pin. But uh, if you can see the size of the original rod, uh, what would normally happen is it would go in there, and the retaining pin would go on the bottom of it with the, the pin sticking up inside that well <clears throat> to be able to keep the wires coming out through it I uh, I'm gonna glue this piece onto onto this piece here so the inside of that and then as the rod goes through it will just oh, actually I should mention I'll put a big hole in that <laughs> uh, so the rod, as the rod goes through it will just glue into that so it will effectively do the same thing, if not, maybe even better. And that will allow for the wires to go through, and once it's glued, it will stop the top from coming off. So quite a simple simple little fix for that. Um, <clears throat> the next step is, uh, like I said here, I'm painting the finger lights. So I've got to put those in, and I've still got to put uh, the, the clear pieces for the eyes. And uh, because you can see the SMDs there, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that or not. I don't think it's a big issue because once the clear part goes over, it'll sort of frost it a little bit. But I'm not sure if I should paint the back of those parts silver so you'll just see it glow and not, I don't know yet, not so bright, I guess. But I mean, as I said, the way it looks at the moment, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It kind of gives it like a, looks like a, a, an iris, a pupil. But anyway, um,. Yeah, that's where I am at the moment. I'll uh, you know put all this together and and then I'll uh, show you what's going on then. See you soon.